Imagine waking up tomorrow morning just like any other day. You stretch, yawn, and slowly become aware of your memories, your identity, your entire life story. But what if all of that, everything you think you know, just randomly popped into existence a second ago? This isn't just a philosophical thought experiment or science fiction. It's a deeply unsettling possibility that emerges from the laws of physics themselves. Welcome to the Boltzmann Brain Paradox, where reality might be stranger than any dream. In the late 19th century, scientists were grappling with some of the most fundamental questions about our universe. Among them was Ludwig Boltzmann, an Austrian physicist who would eventually give his name to one of the most perplexing paradoxes in scientific history. Boltzmann was trying to understand the nature of heat, energy, and the apparent one-way flow of time. His work would lead him to develop statistical mechanics, a field that would revolutionize our understanding of the universe would also lead to some deeply troubling conclusions. Boltzmann himself never actually proposed the Boltzmann brain paradox. It was developed much later by modern physicists thinking through the implications of his work. Yet his theories were met with intense skepticism and the rejection weighed heavily on him. Despite being ahead of his time, the scientific community largely dismissed his ideas. This profound isolation contributed to his depression leading to his tragic suicide in 1906. Today, we recognize Boltzmann as one of the greatest minds in physics, a reminder of how revolutionary ideas often face resistance before they are accepted. To understand this mind-bending concept, we need to start with something seemingly simple, entropy. In our universe, entropy always increases things naturally move from order to chaos. Think of a cup of hot coffee cooling down or a sandcastle being worn away by waves. Let's dive deeper into what entropy really means. Imagine shuffling a deck of cards. There's only one way for the cards to be perfectly ordered by suit and number, but there are countless ways for them to be disordered. Nature always seems to prefer these more disordered states. But here's where things get weird. According to the laws of physics, the reverse is technically possible, just incredibly astronomically unlikely. Consider this, if you were to film a glass breaking and play it backwards, none of the fundamental laws of physics would be violated. The reverse process is perfectly legal according to our equations. It's just fantastically improbable. To truly grasp the Boltzmann brain paradox, we need to take a brief detour into quantum mechanics. At the smallest scales, reality isn't deterministic. It's probabilistic. Particles can spontaneously appear and disappear in empty space, a phenomenon known as quantum fluctuation. These quantum fluctuations are happening all around us all the time. Usually, they're too small and brief to notice. But given enough time and space, something larger could theoretically emerge. Now imagine the vastness of space and time infinite or nearly so. In this cosmic expanse, which is more likely? An entire universe evolving over billions of years, forming galaxies, stars, planets, and eventually you watching this video? Or a single brain, complete with false memories of its entire existence, spontaneously forming from random quantum fluctuations? The math suggests that the second option is more likely much more likely. To create a single functioning brain through random fluctuations in the vast emptiness of space is incredibly unlikely. But creating an entire universe with consistent physical laws, billions of galaxies, and evolutionary processes that lead to consciousness, it doesn't even come close. For all its immeasurable complexities and intricacies, the universe simply shouldn't be possible. In a distant future, as the universe approaches maximum entropy, random fluctuations could create every possible structure, including a brain, given enough time. However, rather than forming all at once, a Boltzmann brain could emerge step by step, reversing the natural decay of an already existing structure. Smaller, simpler forms of consciousness would be much more common than complex ones, just like how forming a single word from a shaken box of scrabble tiles is 
far more likely than forming an entire paragraph. That means if Boltzmann brains do exist, they would likely be simple fleeting thoughts rather than fully realized minds with detailed memories. But what exactly do we mean by a uh, brain? To understand the paradox fully, we need to explore consciousness itself. What makes you, you? Is it just your physical brain? Your memories? Your stream of consciousness? Modern neuroscience tells us that consciousness emerges from the complex interactions of billions of neurons. But we still don't fully understand how matter gives rise to subjective experience, what philosophers call the hard problem of consciousness. This leads us to some deeply troubling questions. How do you know you're not a Boltzmann brain? Can you trust your memories? Is the world around you real or just a random configuration of particles creating the illusion of reality? The paradox challenges our most basic assumptions about existence, consciousness, and reality itself. It's related to other fascinating philosophical puzzles that have challenged thinkers for centuries. For example, Descartes' evil demon hypothesis proposes that an all-powerful demon could be deceiving us about everything we experience. Imagine a being with the power to manipulate every sensation, every thought, every memory you've ever had. Descartes used this thought experiment to find something that couldn't be doubted, eventually arriving at his famous, I think, therefore, I am. Even if a demon were deceiving you about everything else, the fact that your thinking proves that some form of you must exist. The Boltzmann brain paradox takes this a step further. What if even that thinking entity just spontaneously appeared? There's also the brain in a VAT scenario, which updates Descartes' demon for the modern age. Imagine your brain has been removed from your body, placed in a vat of nutrients, and connected to a supercomputer that perfectly simulates all your sensory experiences. Everything you see, hear, feel, and remember would be electrical signals fed directly into your brain. How could you possibly know whether this is happening to you right now? The parallel to Boltzmann brains is striking. In both cases, your consciousness might be completely disconnected from the reality you think you're experiencing. And then there's the simulation hypothesis proposed by philosopher Nick Bostrom. It suggests that our entire universe might be a computer simulation created by an advanced civilization. Unlike the other two scenarios, this one has gained particular attention in our digital age, with some scientists and tech leaders taking it seriously. The math is fascinating. If it's possible to create conscious simulations, then, statistically speaking, most conscious beings would be simulated rather than real. This connects directly to the Boltzmann brain paradox. In both cases, we're forced to grapple with the possibility that the simplest explanation for our consciousness might not be the one we'd prefer to believe. What these three thought experiments share with the Boltzmann brain paradox is a fundamental question. How can we trust our perception of reality when consciousness itself might be disconnected from the world we think we know? Consider this. If you're reading this right now, you're an observer of the universe. But what kind of observer are you? Are you a person with a real history in a real universe? A Boltzmann brain floating in space? Something else entirely? The troubling part is that, from your perspective, these scenarios might be indistinguishable. This connects to quantum mechanics in another interesting way. The role of the observer in quantum systems. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that consciousness itself plays a role in collapsing quantum possibilities into definite realities. Scientists and philosophers have proposed several solutions to this paradox. The finite universe solution. If our universe isn't eternal or infinite, the probability of Boltzmann brains forming becomes limited. Quantum mechanics restrictions. Perhaps quantum mechanics has some built-in restriction that prevents such large-scale fluctuations. The anthropic principle. Maybe we observe our type of universe precisely because we're the kind of observers that could only exist in this type of universe. Modified physics. Some physicists suggest we need to modify our understanding of entropy and statistical mechanics. 
but each solution seems to raise as many questions as it answers. The Boltzmann brain paradox isn't just philosophical speculation, it has practical implications for physics and cosmology. It influences how we think about the arrow of time, the beginning of the universe, the nature of quantum mechanics, the role of observers in physics. Modern physicists must consider the Boltzmann brain paradox when developing theories about the universe. Any complete theory of physics should explain why we observe the world we do, rather than being Boltzmann brains. You might be thinking, what does this matter to my daily life? But consider, every time you make a decision, every time you trust a memory, every time you plan for the future, you're acting on the assumption that you exist in a coherent, continuous reality. The Boltzmann brain paradox questions that very foundation. This paradox can change how we think about our personal ID, the nature of memories, the meaning of life, our relationship with time, and the value of our very own experiences. How do we maintain our sanity while contemplating such possibilities? Psychologists suggest that our brains are naturally wired to accept the reality we perceive. It's a survival mechanism, but understanding the Boltzmann brain paradox can actually be liberating. It reminds us that consciousness itself is remarkable, regardless of its origin. And here's the beautiful part. Whether you're a Boltzmann brain or not, your experiences, thoughts, and feelings are real to you. Your connections with others, your impact on the world, these things matter in the context of your consciousness. Maybe the question isn't whether we're Boltzmann brains, but how we choose to live given the fundamental uncertainty of existence. This uncertainty connects us to ancient philosophical traditions such as Buddhist concepts of illusion and reality, existentialist ideas about creating meaning in an uncertain world, and old Stoic perspectives on focusing on what we can control. As our understanding of physics, consciousness, and the universe continues to evolve, new perspectives on the Boltzmann brain paradox may emerge. Current areas of research that might provide insights include quantum computing. Advances in quantum computing could help us simulate complex quantum fluctuations and test hypotheses about the emergence of self-aware structures. Artificial consciousness. Research into artificial intelligence and consciousness may provide clues about how complex thought arises and whether a Boltzmann brain-like entity could theoretically function. Theories of everything. Physicists continue to search for a unified theory that combines quantum mechanics and general relativity. Such a theory may provide insights into the fundamental nature of reality and its relation to self-aware observers. Studies of consciousness. Neuroscientists and philosophers are working to understand how consciousness emerges from matter. Their findings could help us assess whether spontaneous self-aware structures could ever arise naturally. Each of these fields may contribute to unraveling the deeper mysteries of the Boltzmann brain paradox, helping us better understand not only the universe, but our own place within it. Reality, whether it emerged through billions of years of evolution or as a fleeting anomaly in the quantum void, is a profound and mysterious phenomenon. Each moment of consciousness, each thought, memory, and experience is an extraordinary stroke of improbability against the vast backdrop of the universe. The Boltzmann brain paradox forces us to question everything we assume about existence, but in doing so, it also reveals something beautiful, the rarity and significance of our awareness. Whether the universe is an unfolding cosmic narrative or a mere fluctuation, the fact remains we are here, thinking, feeling, experiencing, and in that there is meaning. Perhaps the ultimate takeaway is not to fear the uncertainty of reality, but to embrace it. The mystery of our existence is not a flaw in the universe. It is its most wondrous feature. Thank you and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.